Okay, everybody, how you doing? It's Brett here. I'm on a core crusade. Uh, we're still, we're just about ready to go. Uh, we're getting a battery in Jerry's guitar, and then we're gonna start singing some beautiful hymns and songs of praise for the Lord. Um, happy Flag Day, everybody. Um, today's a really great country, a real great day for our country, uh, and I hope that you support our flag. And uh, let's uh, have God come into our country more and enforce that flag with his might and his power. Okay, everybody, hope you enjoy. I hope this works all good. This is the first time that I'm broadcasting for you, and uh, we thank you and we love you. That's through. I hope I did it through one accord. I guess Scott will. Maybe Scott. Okay, we're going to have Paul open up in prayer. We are One Accord Crusades. Hello, everybody. We're so happy and honored to be back here at the park uh, so that we can feed you with the Word of God and also feed you uh, physically with some burritos and uh, uh, tacos today. Today is Del Taco Day, and God bless Del Taco for their provision. Amen? So here's Paul. Uh, Psalms 14, verse 3. Though they have turned all have turned aside, they have together become corrupt. There is none who does good, no, not one. And uh, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for all the people that are participating in one accord ministry. I thank you for all the music and your spoken word, and for all the help we have. You have provided for us because without you. Okay, I'm going to sing Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see, through many dangers, toils, and snares. I have already come, was grace that taught me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. When we've been there ten thousand years, Christ shining as the sun, we've known less space to see God's grace. And when we first begun, praise God, 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 praise God. Amen. Well, we're using two sound systems, and today, wow. 
the microphone and the guitar sound really good in the ion amp. So praise the Lord for his provision. Right, nice. We're going to have Jerry sing a few songs here, and uh, then we'll get moving on to a few other songs. Please keep in prayer today. Um, Jeff is at the hospital, as far as I know. He's not feeling well. So uh, lift him up in prayer. We just uh, come against the enemy and all the assignments. We send him to the footsteps of Jesus, and we pour out the Holy Spirit and healing upon Jeff's body right now and i pray that everybody's in agreement with me because where two or more gathered he is in the midst and he will provide that no weapon formed against this ministry or this leadership or anybody that comes to it through facebook or anything else is going to prosper amen amen, amen. amen. This train, this train is bound for glory, this train, this train is bound for glory, nobody rise but the righteous and the holy, this train is bound for glory, this train, this train, no care, no gamblers, this train. Dearest and best For a world of lost 
sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross to my trophies at last. I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Has a wondrous attraction for me, for the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. So I'll cherish the old. My trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. That old I will ever be true, yet shame and reproach gladly bear. For he'll call me someday to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll share. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it some or a crown. There's a Spanish brother here that uh, wanted to play and sing. Is, is that him over there? Javier? Is Javier here? Javier? Where is he? Javier. Javier, cantando, por favor. Javier, sing a song. Cantar? You're being page. Yeah, he sings very good. Please, he sings very good. So. He's got the, Javier's got the Spanish. Andale. Spanish song for us, for, uh, for the Spanish people out here, and he plays and sings very well. I just, I just discovered last week that he plays and sings, so uh, I want him to do the song for us. You ran off on me. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> right, I'm at, let me get this. Uh, can you adjust this mic for him? Okay. Because he's, he's going to play the guitar. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Are you going to turn the volume back up on it, Jerry? All right. Uh, what music in Spanish? <laughs> I go ahead, play. 
Yeah. Soy bautizado como manda el Salvador. Qué grande. más que el camino de la fe, donde muy pocos han querido caminar, le pido a Dios que me guarde en el amor, quiero llegar puro y limpio a su mansión, seguiré a mi Jesús, pues para mí lo del mundo se acabó. Adiós mundo que hasta ayer estuve en ti, donde el pecado destruía mi vivir. Yo siento gozo desde que me bauticé y de volver a pecar mejor morir. Seguiré a mi Jesús, pues para mí lo del mundo se acabó y ya ayuda.
somos el Señor, somos el Señor. This is awesome. Uh, uh, what was that, Jerry? I discovered him out here uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, he was out here a couple weeks ago? Yeah, and I discovered him out here. Doing the music? Well, I was on just playing a little bit, and he, and he, uh, and then he said he was going to play with us again. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys are going to be doing some great things this year. Yeah. 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 Y
in the voice of the Lord to rise up and praise you with great shouts of joy.
as I move my papers around. This is not a sit down and rest day for me. No, not at all. <laughs> I'm glad I have some comfy shoes on here today. <laughs> amen, amen. Oh, Gloria a Dios. Just changing things up. Real. Oh, there. Okay. So, as uh, Britt had introduced us at the beginning of service, we are one of Core Crusades and we're going over the plan for June 2020. We have a vision. Now, the vision is the Jesus model. Jesus preached outside to the crowds and also spent time and stu in study and prayer with his close friends. Amen? Amen. Like we're doing here. Amen. Do I have any Spanish translators? Todo persona sintiendo español? I mean, English? That's okay? No. No? Uh, in the papel? El otro uh, side is in Espanol. So you can uh, leer? Okay, to read. Don't know all my tenses, but I know a few <laughs> verbs, so bear with me. I will flip this over. Vision, nuestra vision es el modulo Jesús. Jesús predico fuera la, a las multitudes uh, y a pasar tiempo en estudio y prayer con amigos con cercanos. Okay, our, um, our mission is to bring people in, to train them up, to send them out and bring others back. Misión, nuestra misión es traer a las personas, entrenarlas y enviarlas uh, uh, para traer uh, otros de vuelta. Estamos comprometidos en presentarle una relación personal con Jesús. Vamos a hacer esto con ustedes, sinceramente cruzadas de un acuerdo. We're here, we're committed to introduce you to a personal relationship with Jesus. We'll be doing this with you, sincerely, us, one accord, crusades. Amen? Woo! We have the plan. Today, Stephen's not here again. We have a sermonettes and that when he gets back from uh, where he's living at, when uh, they can release him, uh, we'll have his sermonettes back because we sure do miss him. He's such a big help for everybody that's here. He's a giver, and uh, we appreciate that. We appreciate everybody that helps to set up and uh, give a mission to um, Brett, Jeff, Stephen, uh, my top three. Then we have uh, Jerry and Paul, myself, and when Abby's here, Abby helps out. And if I didn't, uh, Giorgio, he's uh, out trucking somewhere on the road right now for his uh, work. And uh, for uh, Pastor Scott and uh, uh, Diana, uh, we we all come together in one accord to, to reach out and to touch your lives so that you can have that promise of salvation in your lives. That promise that you don't have to go down the, the bad road, that there's a good road to take, and that good road started with the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen? Yeah. Amen. We have the plan. If you want to participate in reading and speaking along, por favor, participate in la lectura y habla a lo largo de el plan. No. <laughs> Número uno, we seek and number one, we seek God first, and we put on the full armor of God, found in Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Busca a Dios primero y ponte al amor completo de Dios. Es en Efios 6 y 10 y 18. Amen. Verses 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Por altimo, mi hermanos, se fuertes en el Señor y en el poder de su poder. Número 11, 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. 11. Ponte todo el amor de Dios porque lo podes enfrentaros a la artimañas de diablo. Uh, 12, 12, 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In doce, porque no luchamos contra la carne y la sangre, sino contra los principados, contra los poderes, contra los gobernantes de las tinieblas de te mundo, contra la aquí espíritu en lugares alto. Verses 13. Uh, There, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having to done all to stand. En español, por tanto, tomadas todo el amor de Dios, para que podés en el soportar día malo, y ha hecho todo a parar, pararse. Amen. Verses catorce uh, y dieciocho. Catorce es fourteen. Fourteen, sí. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Primero, our belt, our loins girded about with truth. That's our waist. Cinturón, lomos girt alrededor de la verdad. Number two, number two, we have a breastplate of righteousness. When we have Jesus, we have that righteousness. Placa de la rectitud. Número tres. Our feet, our zapatos. Pies. Our feet are shod with the gospel of peace. Pies empujados con el evangelio de la paz. Número four. Cuatro. We have a shield of faith, and that quenches all the fiery darts that come to you. Have on that shield of faith, especially if you're going through a child. You got to put on that whole armor of God. Escunda de fe, quench todos los dardos ardientes. Número cinco. We have a helmet of salvation. Today I have my cowboy hat on and and uh, the helmet of salvation. Casco de salvación. Número seis. Sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. I don't have a Bible up here. Um, it's down there at the bottom. But the Word of God is your sword. The Word that was written in there to have instructions for you. The Bible. Espada de Espíritu, Palabra de Dios. El Biblio es uh, su instruction, instruccions uh, antes uh, earth. It's, Bible is your basic instructions before leaving earth. I simplified it in Spanish. I hope everybody understood it, even me. Número seven. Funny how there are seven things to put on for that armor of God. That's God's perfect number. That we are praying always in the spirit. spirit. Después, orando siempre en el espíritu. Espíritu, orando todo tiempo. So we pray all the time. Number two, we have the three P's. Pray, we read Psalms and Proverbs. First thing in the morning, you fill up on your, pre, on your three P's. These are recommendations to help you grow in Christ. You pray and you read the books of or verses from Psalms and Proverbs for today's date. Today's date was Psalms 14 and Proverbs 14. And the, the verse that uh, Paul had written, about, uh, prayed about, about people going to their own ways, evil, wickedness. Mañana es Salmos 15. Después, Martes es Salmos 16, etc. Amen. Read your name before reading the verse. Los tres P. Ora somos proverbios. Uno primero hora de la mañana se llenan de la tres P. Ora y llego y lo, le los libros o en el juegos de somos y proverbios para la fecha a las diez. Se es, es el uh, uno 
lee el capítulo uh, uno de Somos y Proverbios. Hoy es... Uh, what was 14? <laughs> 14. 14. Thank you. Hey, you're listening. Amen. <laughs> uh, antes de la Biblia, ora a llega a uh, Señor que te revele su palabra. Lee su nombre antes de leer el verso. Amen. Speak your name when you read the Bible. Número 3. My memory verse. Today, the topic is knowing God in a personal way is how to solve your problems and your issues. Well, Jonah had that. And the Lord, uh, but he was so righteous that he didn't want God to solve the problems. He wanted to do it. Mi verso de memorio, tema. Conocer a Dios de una manera personal es como resolver sus problemas y problemas. Verse 5, Proverbs 3, our memory verses, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own thy understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. En español, fíjate Jehovah de todo tu corazón y no te apoyes en tu propia pronuncia. Verses 6, reconocelo en todos tus caminos y el endere. Zara tus veredas. Proverbios 3, 5, uh, 5, uh, 6. Let's repeat that. Let's say it all together for uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. 1, 2, 3. Trust, Trust the Lord with all thine heart, heart and, and lead not, not unto thy, thy understanding. understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. Okay, in Espanol, do I have anybody that wants to say it in Espanol? Uno, dos, tres. Fíjate. I need to hear. Anybody? Fíjate de Jehovah de todo tu corazón. Huh? Nobody say in Espanol? No say? Por qué? All right. I'll let you go this time. Number four, pray and read. Before you go to sleep, pray and read chapter uh, one chapter or a verse of the New Testament. Ore y leer. Antes de irse a demor, oración y leer un capítulo o verse de la Nuevo Testamento. Number five, repeat. Repeat daily and attend here at La Palma Park on Sundays at 2.30. Repetir los días a asistir aquí porque de la, la palma los domingos a la doce y media. Recordar sin Biblia sin desayuno, sin Biblia no sin camo. Remember, no Bible, no breakfast, no Bible, no bed. Amen. amen. Can you all say amen? Amen. amen? amen. I hear you all. Hey, thanks for participating. Amen. We have telefono, es uh, oración, telefono, es uh, uno, de ocho, cinco, cinco, de uh, setenta, seventy, S seventy is setenta, yeah. amen, y Jesús, J-E-S-U-S, -S, amen. So that concludes the, uh, the plan. Uh, so we're getting back over to the service order. Um, do I have, uh, Brett, do you want to get out the uh, food? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, if you guys have testimonials while we get out the food, please come down and share. And uh, let us know what God is doing in your life. Amen? I got a quick one real quick. All right. A quick one real quick. <laughs> I got one. Uh, yeah, we have Del Taco today. Um that's because Gabriel and the people at uh, Del Taco on Placentia Avenue in Placentia provided for us again today. They picked it back up, and they're going to do it again. They're going to give us uh, some burritos and tacos again. So I just wanted to let you guys know that Gabriel over there and the whole place over there at uh, Del Taco, I love those guys. They're doing great work, Which and Del they're going to feed us. Del Taco on Placentia Avenue. Yeah.
Placentia Avenue and Placentia. So, yeah, Placentia and Yorba Linda Boulevard. So go there, support them, because um, they gave us all the tacos and the burritos today. And uh, we love them. We thank all of them. Um, amen. Yeah. Amen. Ma's testimonial? You have testimony? Uh, program and now I'm thinking more about trying to read the Bible every day like we just learned we should and uh, and uh, well everything just to God that then to help uh, help heal my mind so that uh, my prayers were answered and and uh, pray for world peace amen yeah amen Love that. All right. Well, Brett is being a blessing. He's going to help do the serving. And uh, um, one water per person, uno agua per persona. Okay. Um, because I, I didn't buy a whole lot today, oh, okay. so All right, that work. <laughs> uh, I think I have another six pack in there. I'll, I'll work on it. In the meantime, um, come on, you have you have some waters. I can go get some. Oh no, no, that's okay. Um, you guys want to come on up? Um, if you're old or if you have a handicap, uh, damas es primero. So if you want to come up. And then, uh, and uh, Aki, uh, are you? Okay, and then, uh, and then the, the other person is as space, as uh, social distancing, as, okay? So take a little, uh, don't be breathing down each other's neck, okay? <laughs> Uno momento. Uh, we'll be having a raffle today. Um, you get a ticket for showing up, for bringing a friend, uh, taking notes. If you have a Bible with you, you show us your Bible app or, or your paper Bible, that's great. If you take notes, you recite the memory verse. Also, if you're up here on, and you recite the memory verse on the microphone with the paper, we'll give you an extra raffle ticket. If you recite it by memory, then we'll give you a dollar. Okay? Trust in the Lord with all thine understanding and lead not, I mean, with all thine heart and lead not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Okay. And all thy ways acknowledge him and he will shall direct my path thy path. Amen. That's good. I'll catch up on I owe you. Does everybody have their food? Ooh, oh my gosh. Lord, we bless this food right now in the name of Jesus and the food that we already ate. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, well. Oh my gosh, I forgot. 
Bonsoir. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about Jonah, but we're going to pray first. While you're eating, agree in prayer. Lord, we just thank you for your word. We thank you. Gracias de palabra de Dios. Thank you, Father, for everything that you've done in the, everybody's lives here that is sitting. Thank you for the turnout, Lord. Thank you for the beautiful weather that it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It is just right. It's right Amen. for the harvest, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for your word, talking about Jonah, which comes up from today, Lord. Let me be like Jeremiah, that you put your words into my mouth, because this is last minute uh, putting together. And uh, I just thank you, Lord. Jeremiah 1.8. Jeremiah didn't know what to say, but Lord, you said that you will put your word into the Jeremiah's mouth, and that's what I'm asking right now, Father God, because it's all about you. Reveal your glory today. Reveal how to know your son in a person, know you in a personal way, and your son, to help us with all these problems that we've gone through. And I'm sure that everybody here has had a problem, one or two at least. I would ask you to minister to their hearts, Father. That the words that they hear not fall on deaf ears, but their ears and their hearts be open, and their souls to hear the good word, the good news of today. In Jesus' name, amen? amen. Amen. Well, the journey of Noah. And this is like the, kind of like the first time that I've been out here to uh, to to share the word with you because it's usually a man here, but we're going to share today. God, um, no, no. God's not a respecter of people, so uh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Well, we're going to go back into the dakes. Thank God for dakes. <laughs> the date and the place where the um, book of Jonah was written was back in Palestine about, it was before Christ, 853 to 824 years before Christ. Now, it goes from higher to lower because it was going from the old days to getting closer to the time of Jesus, amen, of Christ. The author is Jonah. The theme, the book is about, this is what Dake said. It was like, so, like, really, you're saying this about Jonah? The book is about, as a story of a bigoted Jew who, after being chastened by the Lord for disobedience, preached to and communicated to the whole city of Nineveh. The purpose, the purpose of this story is to show why the destruction of Nineveh and the, and the Assyrian Empire was delayed by God for almost a, cent, a century. The fact that God's, it shows the fact that God's mercy and salvation are both for Jews and Greeks who will repent and turn to him. And to templify and illustrate the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, as seen in some notes in Matthew 12, verse 40. Jonah is the 32nd book of the Bible. There's four chapters, 48 verses, 1,321 words for all those who are into apologetics and that. There's six distinct messages from God in this uh, word that he performed. And I, I was told that you can read this book in about 15 minutes, but when you, when you ask God what do these messages mean, you longer than 15 minutes. God wants you, the Lord wants you to know that if you believe in his death, in his burial, and his resurrection, that you can have eternal life today also. Amen? But what, in the beginning, the Lord sent uh, Noah, uh, excuse me, he sent Jonah out on a mission. And that mission was to go and tell Nineveh, the great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come. Up before me, do we see any wickedness out here and in, in, throughout the United States and throughout the world? Do we see what's going in Seattle, Texas, Georgia, Minneapolis? All that wickedness. And with that prophecy I heard today about the King of Glory is going to establish the North, South, East, and West. Oh boy, these people better pay attention because the Lord's going to call them to repent, to put to fast and have sackcloth on them. That their wicked ways are going to be nullified. That means put to rest. God's angry. He's going to set down what he, why he had chose to have his son sacrificed. Why somebody laid down his life in order that you guys can have life. It's not to create havoc. It's not to be in your own ways. Being homeless. Having 
being drunk, being uh, a gambler, being a person involved in uh, perversion and that. The Lord wants to come and he's looking for a clean remnant that is worthy to go into heaven because he's looking for, for people that want to put away the deeds of evil. And that's what Nineveh was doing. They were doing evil deeds. It doesn't say specifically that it was in here. But if we see the evil deeds of today, can we imagine what was going on back there at that time? Sorcery, debauchery, lasciviousness, the drunkenness. We've been called to be a mess. He was called to be a messenger of truth. It's not always accepted. People might think that we're, oh, you righteous pious gas bag. Well, I'm not a gas bag, but I will be sharing the truth with you guys. And actually, messengers of truth will not always be found in churches, the biggest churches. They'll be found, messengers of church will be found on the street and in the parks proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ. It's time to arise. You don't belong in the dump or the pit. Bosora, no. The leper, the leper chose to get up and to live. It's not time to lie down. It's time to walk by faith and not by sight. So I ask you guys, it's time. Today is the day of salvation. Rise. Get up. Get off of your butts. Get, it, it, it's not about your life and, 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 the, um, and being part of the ghetto, being part of the streets. He says, arise, arise. What's on the other side of you? Get up. Arise. You can't hide anything from God. No. Jonah tried to hide, but God always found him. You can run, but you can't hide. You think sometimes that, you're, that um, you can just do what you want. You can try to run and go down to the bottom of the boat like Jonah, but God still sees you. Running away from God will take you down, down, down. You don't want to go to the pit. It's no bueno. No bueno. Running away from God will take you down. Jonah paid for going into the wrong direction. Have you guys paid for going in the wrong direction? Have you paid for being in obedience? Have you had three hots in a cot? Have you had new chains on your wrists and your, and your, uh, and your feet? Have you been thrown out of your house? Have you been made fun of and, and treated as dirt and not respected because of the things that you were doing? That's all part of disobedience. You reap what you sow. Thinking of all that money that you spent on sin and what it took from you. It took your wife, your children, your, 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 the people that you loved and trusted in your lives. What did all that money accomplish? It accomplished nothing. But for you... To only look up when you've gotten to the bottom of the bottom. Jonah took his disobedience on the ship and got caught in a storm. Then they cast lots. They thought, what evil is on this when the storm came? The crewmen, they, they cast lots to see who was causing the storm. And it fell on Jonah because of his disobedience. Sometimes your storm in your life is because of your disobedience. So the crew got sick and tired of the storm. You know what they did? They tossed Jonah out of the boat. Sometimes if, some of you have been tossed out of your home because of that disobedience. It's amazing how uh, prayer will get you to turn to Jesus. My husband had to go to a, a, a home one time because of his disobedience. We sent him to U-Turn for Christ over there in uh, Lake Elsinore area. Today I'm asking you to do a U-Turn to Christ so that you can be on that straight and narrow path because it's only one way. Sometimes the church prayer, you may think that this is snoozing, it's boring, but let your ears hear. Because there's some good that's going to come out of it. And it's going to affect your life eternally. We're going through a storm even now. Even in the days of Joah, there was a storm. There's a storm going throughout the United States, throughout this world. 
people blaming people and people trying to take money and extort. There's underground trafficking, the poor children of uh, pedophilia and the games, the, the perversion, everything that's out there. We just got scammed for a puppy on the internet for $900 for my daughter. There's scammers out there. I'm tracking them down and things have been eliminated on, their, on the internet. So they know that as I light the little flame that as God directs me, they're not going to get away with it. No, not one. It'll come down. My daughter's talking to these people with uh, Facebook for other people who have been scammed. Hmm. Things look juicy to me. <laughs> Things look real juicy to me because the Lord says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. So anybody who's done you wrong, leave it up to God. He'll take the vengeance more than what you can do. I used to go to a set free. Pastor Phil had a thing out there saying that some guy came to him blasting him about Jesus. And the Lord, he said, the Lord's going to have vengeance on you. The next time he saw him, the guy was in a wheelchair. So, you know, don't mess with God. He don't play games. Amen. The Lord said, we need to pray that God can fix things. And 2 Chronicles 7, 14, God said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. He will not only heal their land, he will heal you. This is what's called as we need to do in about face, that you turn for Christ. Because that's what's going to get you on that straight and narrow path and once you're in God's hands, nobody's going to pluck you out. And that when he sees, when he's dividing the sheep from the goat, when he comes back to earth, he's going to say, oh, what a beautiful servant you are. My good and faithful servant. Wow. Thank you for making it. Thank you for least listening to the, the cry. The cry to get your life straight. That you would have life abundantly you will have peace abundantly that bondage that the enemy is trying to put on you it is null and void you're lifted up people who have been murderers and adulterers people that in the ma that i've talked to and 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 heard their testimonies they said after they received the jesus christ this big old burden was lifted off of them and for them to have that freedom god oh they couldn't amaze because they were so used to being in bondage and being under people's control. No, God wants only wants you to have him as his controller. This is knowing God in a personal way. This is how to be redeemed from your problems. Like in the song that we, 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 we were, um, were singing on uh, uh, All to Him, that every... For every fear or doubt that comes on strong, he is stronger. For every battle we face, he has conquered all. He has conquered all those bondages that you're facing today. Let him have a chance. You know, sometimes our mind is futile and say, oh, there's no God. There's no way he's going to help him. Try him and test him. Let him produce fruit in your life. And then you'll know. We want the church to wake up, but we also want the people to wake up. Check what's on the inside of your boat. Like in the in like Noah, those crew members were looking at the inside of their boat. That boat needs to be tossed. Well, they tossed out Jonah because they were sinking. Then after that, God assigned a great fish to swallow Jonah to kill what was on the inside of Jonah. Jonah prayed, and he finally got tossed out of the mouth of the belly of the whale. You need to talk to God about your problems and not to everybody else. When you talk and you chat, 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 oh, this happened to me and that happened to me. Whoa, 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 I got a little violin for you because you should be talking to Jesus. The enemy loves you to get secular counsel, people that don't know the word. Because that word that they give you is going to lead you astray. You want to talk to somebody filled with the counsel of the Lord. And the counsel of the Lord is free. 
You don't have to pay for it. Save your money. Talk to the Lord. Save speaking out what's bothering you. Talk to the Lord. He'll talk to you back through the power of the Holy Spirit in a small, still voice. And your ears will go, thank you, Lord. I had joy the other day when I went to go to sleep regarding that, uh, that uh, fraud scam. And I told my daughter, I said, you know, I was holding this, but I go, something's going to come up with these people. I don't know. Well, she hadn't heard from them for five days, and then she got a call. Well, they continue to scam. But you know what? The joy of the Lord, there's something coming. And I can keep on believing it because I got righteously angry with the Lord going, you know what? You gave me a word, and I don't see the follow through on it. But you know what, Joni, just wait. Just wait on me. Wait on the Lord. See the fruit that's going to be produced. And that takes us back to Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in thy Lord with, with all your heart and lean not thine unto your own understanding. And all your ways acknowledge him to him and he will bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. You know, no, Jonah wasn't the only one in the Bible that hid. Adam and Eve also hid in the garden. They tried to escape God. God tracked them down. And that's what the Lord's doing for you today. He is tracking you down and seeing what your decision is going to be. The book also illustrates the mercy of God. That God warns men of all their sinful ways, seeking seeking to turn them from destructions. Jonah knew that his God was merciful and that's why he was fleeing. Is that why you're fleeing today? You know God's right and you're wrong because you want to do your own thing in your own way? He did not want to show mercy to the enemies of, his, of the people. Do you guys, re does anybody rejoice when something happens to somebody else that, oh, they deserved it? I know a lot of people my daughter still thinks that her dad deserves what he got and why he's in prison. She forgot about her upbringing, and she needs to take a U-turn for Christ. Jonah wanted them destroyed, and that it would be unlike God to fail or re refuse all the wars of man coming, destruction, and give them the opportunity to avoid what happened is that in the last part of the book of uh, Jonah is that Jonah finally gave the word to the people about repentance. That the Lord was going to have pity. The Lord even, after he got spit out of the well, there was also a, a gourd that he placed on Jonah's head. And it was a shadow and he said, after the gourd uh, got a worm in it, he said, I do well to be angry even unto death. Then said the Lord, have I not pity for those who labored? And should I spare not Nineveh, the great city, where more than 120 or six score persons cannot discern the right from their left hand? And from the cattle. And that's why I'm asking you today. Can you discern your right hand from the left hand? What's the truth and what's the lies? It's in the word of God. It's a sword. It's a double-edged sword. We went through Second uh, Timothy 3.16 before. About what the uh, word of God does. <sighs> oh, I forgot my memory verse. Don't, don't shame me, Pastor Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Second Timothy. I always get confused between first and second Timothy. Amen. So we're having our right hand and our left hand. And the truth is, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, 
thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So that's what our message is today. But I have outlined also that there were acts of God. God commanded Jonah to go and preach in Nineveh. He sent out the great wind to the sea, created the storm. He prepared the great fish to swallow Jonah. He spoke to the fish. He commanded Jonah a second time. He saw their works of, of uh, Nineveh to repent of the evil. They refused, and then he refused to destroy Nineveh. So that's it in kind of a summation of what I had just said. I hope you guys all um, uh, heard that. And then the acts of the seamen, the, mer- the, um, the, the crew became afraid. They cast off to see who would lighten up the ship, and Jonah lost. Jonah lost and was tossed. <laughs> they decided, uh, they questioned Jonah. They rode hard to save Jonah, but the, the whale had gotten him. They prayed to Jehovah. They cast uh, Jonah again to the sea. They feared the Lord to make vows. And then there's some miracles in the book of Jonah about the great wind. All of a sudden, a wind came up on the sea. That's a miracle. The lot falling on Jonah. Of all people, it fed, the lots that they cast fell on Jonah. The great calm in the sea. After that, the sea was calm. Who's in charge of the wind? Who cannot tell? That's found in Proverbs 30, verse 4. Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights and coming out alive. Wow. Three days three days and three nights. How, how many times does the Lord speak in threes? Just as the crucifixion, he was risen after the, on the third day. The fish vomiting out of Jonah, that was a miracle. Jonah's resurrection from the dead, I guess he had actually passed out or whatever. The miracle of grace, God's forgiveness. Preparation of the gourd that went on his head. The preparation of the worm, the worm that ate the gourd, and then after that gourd uh, dried up, then the sun pounded on uh, Jonah's head. Then, when you guys pray, you can pray anywhere. But these are two places where Jonah, strange places where Jonah prayed. In the belly of the well, of the fish, and in hell. He felt like he was in hell. Uh, then we have my last page here. Thing, six things Nineveh did to obtain mercy. These six things we can do also. We can apply them to our lives. To believe in God. You can proclaim a fast. You can put on the sackcloth. Well, we don't usually use sackcloth nowadays. But you can fast and you can pray. You can decree that no man or beast should eat the food or the drink uh, water, that all should be covered with sackcloth and everyone should mightily uh, cry mightily to God. Actually, that was a decree by the king. But on your fast, make your cry unto the Lord. Let him answer your prayers, the reason for your fast. Every Friday, we do a fast in leadership. And you're welcome on Facebook and anybody else. Rihanna says uh, uh, fast, dia de fast. Uh, Rapidamente, no, no comida, no bebido, oh, bebidos de agua es oh, ok. As usual, God saw that the works of repentance and turning from sin on the part of the people as a whole, so he spared it. God, the Lord will also spare your life. And I think that comes towards the judgment. God is a God, gracious God. He's merciful. He's slow to anger. He loves you. God is still hoping that all would come to him. In the meantime, the Lord has anger, but he also has love for you. So as you have been running from God, today's a day of salvation. And you can ask the Lord into your heart. We use personally my favorite verse is Romans 10, 9, which correlates to my birth date. I love that. That 
If thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in your heart that has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So I'm going to ask you guys, is there anybody that wants to do a U-turn to Christ today? Even out there on Facebook. If today is the day of your salvation, today you're not going to be running away anymore, but you're going to put God first in your life and let him deliver you from your problems and your issues. All you need to do is pray and ask him. And even if you wandered away and you've been running away and, you, and you've, had, you've known Jesus before, this is a time where you can ask him in, back into your heart. Put me back on that straight and narrow path, Lord. I've been a sinner. I've been avoiding your word, but I want to come back. I want to repent. Amen. So if you want to repeat this after me. Lord, Lord I come to you a sinner. Come to you a sinner. And I ask you to redeem me. To redeem me. And take me. And take me. Give me eternal salvation. Give me eternal salvation. I believe that your son died on the cross. I believe that your son died on the cross. And that he has been raised from the dead. And that he has been raised from the dead. And right now with my heart. And right now with my heart. I believe. I believe. That I am saved. That I am saved. So if you said that little prayer, welcome into the kingdom of God. I don't want to make it long for anybody else, but you can have your own prayer time. Knowing God in a personal way is how you're going to get out of your problems. If you don't do that, don't come to me and say, I, oh, I, I didn't do this. I said, I told you so. Don't be like Jonah in the boat and get tossed. He wants you here today. He wants you to be in that boat bound for, or that train bound for glory that uh, uh, Jerry was talking about. No liars, thieves, adulterers, pornographers, perversions, druggies, everything. It's time to hang it up today. Amen? Amen. So that concludes today's service. And uh, we thank you, Lord. And we've just... Joni, a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Amen. Hey, for my first time, uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you that we have our Bibles. We have the Word of God to help... Uh, uh, get it out there because we want you guys to see you in heaven. We want to see you have that mansion. We want to see you on that glory road. We don't want to see people uh, going the other way where there's torment and fire. We love you. God loves you. Amen? Amen. And this is our team. Again, we have that phone number, one 855 70 Jesus. You're welcome to call that. You can talk to Pastor Scott. You can talk to Jeff. You can talk to me because there's different props. So, um, I'm sorry. I, I prefer to talk to the women. Women counsel women and men counsel men. So, uh, we thank you and we just give God the glory right now. If we want to, uh, well, uh, do some, uh, let's do the raffle. I have to pass out the tickets real quick. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I uh, want a court crusade. Anytime that you need prayer, like Tony said, call 877 uh, 70 Jesus. Is that right? 855, uh, sorry. 855. <laughs> yeah, okay. 855 70 Jesus. Um, if you need prayer, talk to Pastor Scott, talk, talk to Jeff, talk to Joni, and they will make sure you get your prayer. We love you all. Thanks for watching. God bless.